What's up everyone? I'm out here with the fishing pole. Doing it for the fun of it. I don't have my Casio fish watch, so I don't know if it's saying a good time or not, but I would say any time, if you could, is a good time. I don't really have the right bait, but I'm just messing around. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, they're biting. Wow, they're biting. They're biting. I don't feel like rebaiting it right now because I want to do this video. But if I catch a fish after this video, I'll post it. I'm going to focus on these three knives right now. Um, this is kind of an update on this one, but these two I wanted to match up together because they're both trapper patterns. Don't mind my uh, slim fast. I'm not on a diet. It's just give you a little boost of energy uh, okay the first one is uh, they call it uh, Ozark Trail calls it the shaft lock but it's uh, to me it's an access lock but they call it a shaft lock it took the YouTube by storm it's a great knife it carries very comfortable very well the pocket clip they're kind of selling pretty fast in Walmart. You could still find them. Um, they're five and change. And it's an excellent EDC knife, you know, for anyone. Anyone. Um, it came fairly sharp, actually. I sharpened it a little. And I put a little oil in it. So, you know, I could flick it out a little better with the pulling the lock down and just trying to flick it right out. <laughs> And that works pretty good. Some guys do it so well, like, you know, they, they flick it, boom, boom. You got to really work it in to do that. But anyway, that's that shaft lock, a.k.a. access locked, a.k.a. Benchmade killer. Benchmade bug out killer, I would say. But that, that's, that's, this, this is crazy. This, this thing is really, it's really cool, really cool. Anyway, I had this knife a long time. This is the trapper pattern that Ozark put out. This is USA Camilla's. I bought that a long time ago in a sporting place, uh, Bill Boatman magazine. But this is the real trapper. I just wanted to show the real trapper. I know the steel on this, so I could say it. It's 440 stainless steel, because I remember when I bought it, that's what it was listed as. I still have the magazine somewhere. And this, uh, it's stamped USA, Camilla's, which went out of business, I think, in 06 or 07, around that time, which is a shame. Now Camilla's still sells some nice knife packs in Walmarts, but they're not made in America. I wish they were still, but what could you do? It's 440 stainless steel. This thing is very sharp because I had it sharpened. I didn't take any rope from here. I wanted to have a rope test. I just flew out before I should should have brought something with me. I don't know if anything's on the ground, but if you match it up with the Ozark Trail, not a bad, uh, not a bad rend rendition of uh, a trapper. They did a good job on it. The clip point and the spade blade. I didn't realize that this was this is kind of like a point almost. And uh, the spade blade and the clip point. They got their Ozark Trail on the clip point. It's it's a very nice knife. I'm not really into this. I'm more into knives like this, you know, tactical knives and even big, even nicer tactical knives than that Ozark. But this trapper pattern with the fake stag handle, nice, different. I couldn't tell you the steel on this. They just say stainless steel. It could be a lot of different things. I don't think it's equivalent to this knife, 440. You could just see the 440, the, the way it looks on here, quality. and uh, <clears throat> It's a nice knife, though. It came, again, fairly sharp. I wish I should have took some rope with me. It's just I ran out. I just wanted to get this, try to get this video up. It's a little chilly out, and it might rain. So I wanted to do that and do a little fishing. And uh, it's, it's a great knife, two-padded, trapper. I don't know if this is nickel. I know this is nickel, nickel silver. You could almost feel how smooth that is on there versus this. I mean, this feels smooth too. 
It could be nickel, because nickel is not, I don't think, that difficult. But this is a little different looking, like a little, it's not really a shine, but a little shinier than this this one. But that don't mean nothing. It could be nickel, silver. But they usually put nickel, silver on the boost. The boost is of uh, the uh, trapper pattern and some of these old uh, slip joint knives. Anyway, I wanted to show that. <clears throat> I'm hanging out on the lake and uh, see if I catch some fish. I got to re redo the pole, get some bait on it, see see what happens. And if I catch anything, I'll film it. And I just wanted to put these up. You know, this is a couple knives I, I wanted to do side by side because they're the same type of knives. Like I said, it's a good, good uh, copy of uh, that. It's not a copy. It's a good, good. Uh, work on the knife that Ozark Trail did on that trapper. Uh, they definitely did a good job on making it like a, a nice trapper. It it's it it feels nice too in the hand. It's it's quality. You know, for the price you're paying five five and change or whatever, you can't beat that quality. I mean, you just can't beat that. But it's a great knife. I'll leave it go at that. I'll end it here. Peace out, everyone. Have a great day. Peace out.